everyone and welcome to my grocery haul. This is not a sponsored video, but I thought I would share with you this haul. I ordered groceries from Walmart online through an app called Corner Shop. Now I saw this app in my social media newsfeed a number of times and I decided to give it a try. Anyway, let's unpack this and see what I got. So in all I paid $139.66. There is an administrative fee of $6.75, I guess that's for the app, and delivery was free. Now, delivery was free based on the fact that I purchased some Sensodyne and the Sensodyne, let's see how much that cost me because I have it on my iPad here. Okay, in all those two were a total of $8.96, they were $4.48 each, okay? So there we go, let's start with the Sensodyne. Next is the Kraft Medium Shredded Cheese, it's cheddar. Those were $6.47 each and I purchased three because it was a three for two special. Now, at the end, they, at the end of the receipt, they take off the 647, but three of these would have cost me $19.41. The Great Value Sour Cream, let's turn it around, 14% milk fat was $1.97. This bag of yellow onions was $2.47, and these look fresh. I'm impressed with that. A couple of years ago, I did a Walmart haul where I ordered online and then I picked it up, and things weren't that fresh, but I am impressed with this so far. This package of Hershey's Chippets was $3.57. This 400 ml container of French's mustard was $1.97. 750 ml of Heinz ketchup was $3.47. Great value walnut halves and pieces were $16.97. The Pace Chunky Salsa Medium was $8.47. Two packages of Tostitos Multigrain Tortilla Chips were $5.94 at $2.97 each. Whole white button mushrooms were $1.97 each. I purchased two for a total of $3.94. This three pack of rainbow bell peppers was $3.97. Maple Leaf original pork breakfast sausages were $4.97. And there are 12 sausages in this package. I purchased two of the um, Rubbin's gluten-free salted rice crackers. They were $1.50 each for a total of $3. A bag of Seal Test 2% milk was $4.47. And next on the list is a personal item, which I'm not putting in the haul. One package of Dempster's Everything Bagels was $3.97. One package of arugula, it weighs 142 grams. This was $2.97. It is reasonably fresh and I'm okay with that. Next is the 18 count of Grey Ridge Eggs. This was $2.77. That is a bargain. I actually already purchased these at Walmart this week, so this is my second pack. The next item is Dempster's Original English Muffins, and let's see how much they cost. These were $2.17. This next is the Pumpernickel by the Dimpfelmeyer Bakery, and it was $2.67. Three Roma Tomatoes, $2.60. 
one green pepper, $1.22. This cabbage here was a ripoff. It was $7.80. Okay, that was a ripoff, okay? Anyway, but you know, I don't think that's the app. I think that's Walmart, but anyway, whatever. Okay, now the next is bananas. $1.23 a kilogram and they cost me $1.23. Okay, so they're not perfect. They're mostly for smoothies anyway, so I'm okay with that. Now, there's some items that he replaced. However, the policy is they phone you before they check out, and that's what he did. So let me show you what he replaced. I had ordered an eight pack of drumsticks. Now, I don't remember what the price, oh yes, the eight pack would have been $9.97. However, it was cheaper to get two four packs and those were $3.97 each to a total of $7.94. So he did choose these because they had run out of the eight pack. But in the end, you know, it was cheaper. I'm glad they ran out of the eight pack. So that was a decision he had made that he had phoned me before he checked out. And one other thing was, the Tender Flake Puff Pastry. I think I had ordered, let's see. Yeah, I had ordered the Great Value Puff Pastry. That was out of stock. And they ended up giving me the Tender Flake, which was 20 cents, no, it was 10 cents more, but that's okay. All right, he phoned me and he told me that the Great Value was out of stock and he selected this instead, and I'm okay with that because I do want puff pastry. I hope you've enjoyed my haul. Please leave a comment below and give me your opinion on the prices I've paid or your experience with online grocery shopping. Let me know. Thanks for watching.